Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and here's some more musings about uh, plier handles. In particular, I'm going to talk about the Weeha, um, but what started this is I picked up a set of these uh, 612 AEPs from Snap-on. These are newer ones. Um, I love these things. Here's an earlier set I got, and you can see that they have really modified the handle quite a bit. It's supposed to be the same thing, but it is wildly thicker, uh, kind of a richer red, a lot more texture to it compared to the, you know, this one here. Um, I've got a couple of sets of these. I really like the screw extraction. I find it is a little bit more effective, actually, uh, than the Knipex Twin Grip is. And you can see, probably because of the size of the gripping, but not quite as uh, effective as the Vampire, which really seems to knock it out of the park. So for screw extraction, these are great. They, the, I love the pistol grip feeling of them. This is still, you know, I don't know, 1970s wonky uh, for a spring. I tried to stretch these out on a previous pair and it just never really gave it that much oomph. But most of the time you can open it with your fingers when you need to. And, you know, if you need the spring assist, it's pretty fine work. But overall, these are just amazing. They're just too expensive. Somebody might need to make their version of these HF. Cough, cough. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the different plier handles. In particular, the heavier, thicker, larger ESD or 1000 volt rated ones. And not for their rating, but for their feel, for the fit, for the finish. Now on the small end, we've got these, you know, super thin dipped handles. And that really does not, uh, you know, give you any cushion, anything extra. They're pretty slippery. What they are is coated metal. If you recall back in the 50s, we ended up coating metal because it used to just be metal. Um, however, we have then upgraded. In fact, here's a couple of sets that show the, essentially the same plier pretty much across the board with three different types of handles from the thin dipped to the multi-component, nothing special, to the full um, thousand volt rated with these kind of thumb ramps or studs up here to keep your hand from sliding too far forward. Now, I really like those. Um, I, it isn't that I'm, you know, snugging up against the top end of the plier. It's just that the feel of this, the gripping surface, this is multi-component. Similar here, but this is actually grippier, this yellow stuff on the Knipex. But when, let's talk Weeha. Now, this is what kind of set it off, was this gigantic, thick, multi-component, you know, 1,000-volt rated handle. I just, the moment I grabbed this thing and started using it, I, I fell in love with it. This is so nice. This is a nice, smooth ramp. You know, it's as, as if they care about the user of the plier. Weeha does. How does that compare? Well, okay, let's go to the bottom. Here's an Amazon Basics. As you can see, big just slabs right there. I mean, it's just, it's, it's brutalism. It's, you know, I don't know if you're into architecture. I am pay stuff. Uh, you can study his, his building style. That's what it reminds me of. It is not friendly to people. Um, this one, which is the obvious NWS made by Milwaukee, they soften it just a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty solid ramp you're running into, just a slab right there. Um, Knipex, they roll it out a little bit, smooth that. Just, it means it's more friendly, but Weeha really does take that to the next level and makes it ergonomic, er, <laughs> excuse me, um, ergo, ergonomic. Uh, really just flows into the hand. You can grab it up high, you can grab it low. It just feels like they've designed it for the hand, not to, you know, in this case, keep the hand away, or in this case, keep the hand out. Um, but Weeham uses this across a lot of their different plier styles. I've gotten those and really like it, but this one, this one really was just, just, Felt so good in my hand. Um, here's one, another German. Somebody's rebranding this for Fluke, 
but they had a nice smooth upslope there, although they have a pretty significant ridge there right on that molding. Um, you know, I guess, I don't know if they're trying to save money, but I really actually do like these fluke pliers. Uh, but overall, I think Weehaw nails it. I think Knipex, maybe, maybe Fluke or whoever makes the Fluke is coming in second. But they seem to really like producing a plier that feels good in the hand. It's, it's just friendly. It's comfortable. It's exciting to, uh, you know, not feel the handle get in the way. Instead, it kind of guides you as you're using it. But overall, you know, this is the simplest. It's from a stylistic standpoint. It's a minimalism. Some people like that. doesn't get in the way. But overall, if I had to grab any plier and it had one kind of handle, honestly, I'd have to give the win to Weeha here. This just, I love it. Now, your, your hand may vary, your mileage may vary, but overall, once I grabbed one of these, that is the future right there, this kind of a handle. That, to me, is the best. Let me know your thoughts, what you think, uh, if you've got a favorite type of handle, but I think we're still evolving. Think about this as a tire. We spend a lot of money on quality tires for whatever it is we're doing, whether we're off-roading, overlanding, street racing, whatever. And this is the interface between your hand and the tool. So that is why I spend so much time on something like this, because this is it. I mean, this is the performance end up here as far as what it does, but the interaction with a human hand is the grip here. That's why I care about it. Anyway, let me know your favorite handles. And with that, dock out.